So how many of you guys went after the Jordan 2 off-white that dropped on Friday? They had a the white color and then they had the black color, right? I went after both of them. And I'll tell you what, if I would have hit on them, I would have sold them in a heartbeat. They would have been on StockX, Goat, whatever. Them things are selling for $850 right now. Last time, I'll check this morning. Um, now, do I, did I like them? Yeah, but I have these guys right here and I've done a video on them before. This is the 2016 re-release, the, the retro of the Jordan 2 Chicago. So I've already got these guys and they're in you know pretty good condition. They've been worn a few times, but you know overall, these guys are in good condition. Still got the shoe trees in them. You know what I'm saying? Still got the Nike Air down in the bottom of them. So I really didn't need them, but I did go after them and I went after them to sell them. If I'd have hit, I'd have sold them. Y'all can, <laughs> can like me or not like me for that, but uh, $850. Man, that's like two or three shoes that I really want for a pair, you know, so why not go after them? I think a lot of people may, may have did that, but, you know, anyway, that's not what we're here for today. Today, I'm going to leave these on here while I talk for a second. Today, I'm going to do a video. You know, a lot of a lot of YouTube videos, uh, they do the, the uh, early reviews. And there's nothing wrong with the early reviews, right? But I'm your average normal dude that don't really have any... You know plugs so to speak of um so i really don't get too many shoes you know early i don't get them early and uh another thing too you know the only time that i do get a shoe early is if i hit on them like sometimes Foot Locker, uh believe it or not yeah Foot Locker will have like a a release like a, a week earlier than nike does which is strange to me but sometimes i hit on that and uh also, you know, sometimes I hit on shoes over from Europe. Uh, I did one recently on an Air Max. It was from Foot Patrol. Uh, I, they, those haven't released in the States yet, so I don't know if they're going to, but you, could you consider those an early review? Maybe, because they're not really released over here in the States. But outside of that, like all you, like the Jordan 11 cool grays and stuff like that that people's already reviewing that's not out for another month, I don't know how they, I don't know what's going on. I know Tony D2Wild, I watch him, uh, shout out Atlanta we're here in, in columbus um but anyway you know outside of he, he gets his from a sneaker store up there right so you know i guess they get their stock in early but anyway I, i'm gonna lay off of that because what we're here to talk about i feel like sometimes you can review an older shoe that people's kind of fell off on or don't remember and do some lace swaps or whatever and it can become a new shoe it can become a shoe that people say damn you know what i really like that shoe i passed over it back in the day let me go out there and pick that shoe up so that's what we're going to do today this is the shoe that i absolutely love for the winter time i woke up today 35 degrees outside here in the south man that's cold for us you know what i'm saying uh so i was like you know let me go to my one of my favorite winter shoes all right and so here it is now don't click off the video when i show it to y'all because some of y'all is going to be like i don't really like that shoe it's ugly but here it is this is the jordan one wheat okay and no i don't I don't have the box with me i, I actually have it it's upstairs in, in the sneaker room uh, amongst all the other boxes but i just didn't feel like digging through it just to show y'all a box to be perfectly honest a lot of y'all don't want to see a box anyway i do it for the most part with new shoes because you maybe want to see the colorway or you want to see the retail cost this was back when jordans were still 160 bucks jordan ones came out a few years ago actually i think it came out in 2017 or 2018 something like that but uh yeah these guys i've kept these in really good shape as you can see i've never done a sneaker review on these on, on youtube because quite frankly i didn't have a youtube channel when i had these uh oh and speaking of a youtube channel See, I'm a rookie at this still. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed the content, hit that thumbs up button for me before you leave. It, it'll help me out. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so if you enjoyed the content because we keep pumping these guys out, man. Um, but let's get into this shoe, man, and why I like this shoe so much. So this reminds me of a Timberland, okay? And I like Timberlands, especially in the wintertime. Uh, and the materials on this shoe, y'all can see this, the suede on these shoes is probably some of the best suede that you'll see on a Jordan 1 High Retro, period. 
I mean, you can see, I mean, it's just, it's immaculate, to be honest with you. It's, it's very nice suede all over the shoe. The whole shoe is nothing but suede. So very premium, very soft shoe, very, very soft shoe to the touch. Okay, so the inside, you got that cream, that wheat color all the way. The tongue is that nylon tongue. And you have a nice patch up here, the Nike Air and that suede leather. So just the whole shoe, man. They did a great job on the materials with this shoe. Now, here's the one thing that I don't like, and here's what we're going to do for the video today. A lot of people may not have liked this. Um, again, colorway, fire. And I said wintertime, don't wear these guys in the snow. I just said that this is all suede or whatever. Don't wear them in the snow. Don't wear them in the rain unless you kind of want to ruin the suede. They're not winterized like those Jordan 14s uh, that I reviewed a few, a few videos back. If you want to go out there and check that video out. But it's just, here's what throws these off. And I like it. I don't mind it. But I had an idea this morning before I decided to do this video. These oval laces right here that come in it are the same wheat color as the rest of the shoe. Giving it the whole, the whole shoe is really, there's nothing really standing out about it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a lace swap on these guys. We're going to do three different colors and we're going to see if one lace looks better than the other. It really makes this shoe pop and maybe some of you guys that, that passed over this years ago may go out there and say, you know what, I think that shoe looks tight with those laces in it. Let me go out there and see how much they are. Cop me a pair of them for the winter time. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and edit the video in. I don't know why I'm telling you I'm edit the video. I guess that's just what I do. I'm going to lace swap these shoes out with three different colors and we're going to see what they look like. So y'all hang on a second, let me lace them up and I'll be right back because I'm not going to sit here and make y'all watch me lace up shoes. Just hang tight. We got them unlaced. All right, we got them unlaced. Just to show y'all that tongue again. You know, nice nylon tongue. I'm really digging this patch up here, man. This patch, to me, uh, is probably one of my favorites on the Jordan 1. You know, they typically do it in that stitched in patch right here, but this leather, look how thick that leather cut is too. Just a good, nice, thick cut of leather all the way around that tongue right there. So just wanted to show y'all that again before I dive into the whole lace swap thing. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to make these guys look good. I can't get over the suede that they used on these, by the way. Suede looks good. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get to the swap. Let's do it. All right. Drum roll, please. For the first lace swap that I thought would look good in these guys, I wanted to do something, I don't know, since it's the holidays and things, maybe something, you know, turkey day related, Thanksgiving related. So, here's what I thought of. Ba bam Okay. So, I'm calling these guys the Cranberry and Turkey Special, okay? The Cranberry and Turkey Special. So, I swapped these out with Bordeaux laces, okay? So, if you're looking for the colorway, this is Bordeaux. Um, and I think they look great. I actually like that. It does add that pop to it. Um, so, yeah, man. Bordeaux laces in the wheats. The Turkey Day Specials. So y'all tell me how y'all like those, man. Does that add a little bit more flavor to them? You know what I mean? I should have laced them all the way up and tied it through there, but it is what it is. A lot of people wear their Jordans with the tongue out here anyway. So there it is, man. Uh, the Bordeaux colorway, lace swap. Now, let's get to the next one. Tell me if y'all like this one. This is number one. Y'all tell me down in the comments out of the three. We got four, right? We got the original oval laces. We got the Bordeaux laces. So the original oval laces would be one. The Bordeaux will be two, and then we have three and four coming up. Y'all let me know down in the comments which ones you like the best out of the bunch. Let's get to the next round. Next up on the list, we're going to stick with the theme of Thanksgiving. All right, so we got the cranberries right here, the cranberry and turkey. Next up, we got the mashed potatoes and brown gravy, okay? And if this is making y'all hungry, it's okay, it's making me hungry as well. I'm gonna eat after this video. So, this right here is Sail Colorway guy, or Sail Colorway laces, y'all. Um, if y'all are looking to, again, 
wonder what color I'm putting in here. These, it makes it look white, white laces, but these actually, uh, I lay swapped out of my uh, Jordan 5 shattered backboards, which is sale laces, to, to these. So, yeah, there's that. So, I'm calling these again the mashed potatoes and brown gravy. So, that being said, you got both shoes right here. Which one do y'all think looks the best? Or again, do you think that the original oval laces right here look the best? Okay, so let's let's keep the vote going. One, vote two, vote three. I'm actually digging these, man. These are clean with the cell laces in here. I think those look really good. I don't know. I mean, the problems of a sneakerhead, man, when you're trying to pick out something. I guess it depends on what kind of outfit you're wearing with it. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and get to our third and final lace swap. All right. And for the final pair for the lace swap for today, I'm going to call these the Dark Harvest. Okay? Bam. This is the Jordan 1 Wheat with just straight up black laces, man. So black and wheat. The Dark Harvest. I think, see I'm having a hard time here. I don't know if I like Dark Harvest. I don't know if I like Cranberry and Turkey. Or I don't know if I like Grandma's Mashed Potatoes with Brown Gravy. Just a difficult time <laughs> deciding what I want to put in these guys. I tell you, I like all three of my lace swaps a lot better than I like the oval laces. That's just my own personal opinion. But I want to hear what you guys think. Y'all get down in the comments and tell me. I love the I love the brown gravy and mashed potatoes, but I'm really feeling dark harvest and cranberry. Actually, I mean this is Bordeaux, but you get where I'm going. So again, not a new shoe, actually an old shoe. But it's crazy when you take you know lace swaps and you put it into a you know an older shoe that people aren't really thinking about anymore because to be honest with you Jordan brand and Nike and just everybody else has kind of been in my own opinion I haven't really seen anything that I like too much I did like the Royalty 12s that came out yesterday so I do actually like those I thought those looked good and a lot of people were hating on the laces on them but I like the black laces in them but uh y'all tell me what y'all think about the wheat does this change y'all's mind on it do you still think the shoe is trash or does the different color laces kind of give it a different different you know vibe a different pop um so yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed the video today again if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet i'd appreciate it if you do if you enjoyed this content because this is kind of what we do over on this channel you're not going to get the earliest sneaker reviews um but you will get some different kind of content that maybe other other youtubers aren't really looking into right now so with that it's jamin i hope you have a great day enjoy the rest of your weekend and i'm out peace